Are you like me? Do you have a lot of fun cutaways clogging up your scenes? This tutorial will show you how to automate all your fun things so your OBS is organized and everything works fast. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Duty Beard. Uh, I'm a variety streamer on Twitch. Uh, I'm live right now, so actually uh, come check us out. You might be missing out on content like this. My butt hurts. Uh, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Uh, consider clicking the links in the description to my sponsors, uh, Gabersups and Old Customs, uh, both of which you can get a nice discount on by using the code DUTY. Uh, my sponsors and my Twitch channel help me to make cool tutorials like this, so please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, please. Uh, before we start, we have to define two things. What is a group and what is nesting? Uh, what is a group? A group is a collection of sources that make up its own source. Uh, they work very differently than single sources, and we're actually about to go over that. Uh, nesting keeps your group sources grouped in one scene as home base to be able to be used across multiple scenes in many different ways. So the best the best way to show you how this works is we're gonna we're gonna make a group. So I made a brand new um, media source for people to use, um, and that will be in a link in the description. And we're gonna make we're gonna make a group. So uh, I made a small video. We're gonna call it Patricia. So on my stream, I use the this is there was this popular Vine that. Uh, Trish, the creator, um, ha, ha, he, he yells, Patricia! And so we use that as a sound effect on my uh, stream. So I made this little video to be redeemed as uh, channel points and everything. And, and again, this will be in the description for you to download and use for your own stream. So so I've uploaded the file as a media source called the Patricia. Hey, Patricia! Now, there's a sound. It's not going yet and i will adjust that right away click on the gear you hit advanced audio properties you go down to patricia right here audio monitoring monitoring and for me it's mute audio monitor only or mute output monitor only mute output so i'm just going to keep that all right patricia let's hear it again hey, patricia hilarious Now I'm going to. Now, thank you. Now I'm going to, at the moment, keep the chroma on just for the sake of science and everything. And even though it's one source, right now I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go up to group selected items and I'm going to call this Patricia group. So now we have a group. That is great and fine and dandy, but how does it work? So. You'll notice that I have a whole bunch of groups here. This is uh, my one scene for many groups, basically. Um, so let's take a look at this one called uh, Toasters. So if you'll notice, this group called Screen Fun, this is all the fun stuff that I have on screen. So if I hit Toasters, you will see that it's on. Now let's see what happens if I go to another screen. Scene, rather. Now the scene changed, as you can see, all this stuff changed. And if you go into the group, Screen Fun, sorry, it's very hard to find, you'll notice that Toasters is on over here. So let's turn it off, or let's go back rather. So we're back here. Now I'm gonna turn Toasters off. And if you notice, on my other scene, Toasters is now also off. Now this is important. Um, now remember, this is in a group. Let's see what happens on a single source. So, we are back to my scenes scene. Now here's the single source toaster that's not in a group. Now let's see what happens when I turn it on. Before I click it, I will show you that it is, the single source is in both scenes as well, right here. Here's the magic, this is the Mr. Wizard part. I'm gonna click the single source on. As you can see, the toasters are on. Now I'm gonna go to the other scene. Would you look at that? It is not on. Sing that's the main difference between single sources and group sources, is that single sources um, are just that. They're, sing they're singular. Um, on each scene, they stand alone. In a group, they stand together. So I will show you one more time by going once again to the other scene. Opening screen fun. 
grinding toasters. Going back to the other, and as you'll see, they are seamlessly still on uh, up in there. Okay, now here I am on a new on the other scene with without uh, without all the crazy groups and everything. Um, now, now, how do I get the Patricia? video that I made for you guys onto every other scene. It's extremely easy. This is, this is one of those easy parts. You just simply hit the plus to add a source. You find uh, groups right here. Group, add a group. And we are simply going to add Patricia group. And it should just fit just like it did on the first scene. Hey, Patricia! Yep, and that's it. Easy as that. Very, very easy. You did it. But hold on. There's a lot more to cover. Now let's say you have some camera sources and you want to add something cool like a filter to one media source, but you know that it's it's so annoying to just add multiple video capture sources. Well, did you know that you can make one of your camera sources its own group and really cheat the system here? So let's add a video capture device. Let's add my main cam. Hello, I'm back. Let's add that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's add one more. Let's add the same thing. Main game cam. Let's add it over here. Let's pop it over here. The one on the right is going to be the one on the group. So, let's say we want to add a filter. My cameras have a lot of filters. A scroll to one of the sources. As you can see, both, because uh, it's a video camera source, they will always, it, it'll always be the same thing. So let's take that scroll filter off. Let's take the the one on the right and let's turn that into a group. Group selected items. Cam, group, for YouTube. Now let's take that group, let's right click it, let's add a filter, and let's add that scroll filter back in there. Whoop. And you'll see that the grouped one with the filter will scroll but not the main single source. Now this means you could do anything. You could do multiple colors. You can have like a trillion different effects on one scene. Um, there's 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 so many different things you can you can do with that. And this is um, this is one of the most extremely helpful things for people who want to make like a big dance scene or you know something with a lot of cool lights and effects and stuff like that. Just a couple of important things to remember. First of all, mind your layers in your groups. Um, this day and age with quality and a lot of innovation in streaming um, and transitions, if you're like me, you add a lot of transitions, you have a lot of these cutaways, you're gonna wanna make sure that they're layered correctly so that everything looks clean. Um, you, you know, you never know when you have somebody in your audience who notices a little like glitch, something's moving in front of a different layer, something like that, so always keep your layers in mind. Another thing that I, that the, a problem that I sometimes fall into is resizing issues. Sometimes when I make a new cutaway to put into these groups, um, I'll put it into the group just to think that it goes across, and as you can see, I have so many, I have so many groups, uh, to think that it goes across all scenes, and sometimes all of the sources have this weird resize glitch, and, and then I have to go through the whole thing and delete it and put the whole thing in, so keep your group small and simple and, and try not to overstuff them. If you have to make multiple groups to nest, I think I think that's okay personally. Um, yeah, uh, so so just something very something to watch out for that I deal with uh, a lot. All right, now here's just a little uh, a little tutorial on how to implement this onto your stream deck or Leoron board. Uh, if you'd like to implement these cutaways and these scenes, like the Patricia scene or other ones like this. Then I do have uh, I do have another uh, tutorial down in the description on how to connect these to your uh, Twitch channel's channel points, so your audience can have fun popping things up and everything. So please click on that, check out that tutorial. But it's super, super, super simple. Here's my stream deck. Uh, all of my things that I use, my cutaways, and there's a lot, they're all multi-actions. Um, so basically, the multi-action is pretty easy. Before I found out about this, it was um, the, the OBS Studio Source button to activate. 
and then it was open on every single scene. It was on open, 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 and it was ridiculous. It was the the, the little spinner on my stream deck would go do 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 do. And it was the craziest process ever. So now all I need to do is this, the one source on the one uh, scene, on the correct scene, scenes, and the screen fun sitcom transition, um, a delay for how long it is, for how long the actual cutaway is. And then you just kill the source, you hit deactivate, you basically just copy paste the first one and then put the change activate to deactivate. It is really, really easy. The delay is important. Just experiment, see how long it is. I usually just kind of guess and check and then, you know, check and repeat and check and repeat until I have it perfect. Um, and that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. That's the best way. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoy the tutorial. Please comment uh, on whatever uh, on whatever tutorials you want me to uh, put on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be starting to post about two videos a week, whether it's uh, edits of my content on Twitch or these tutorials, uh, so that would be extremely helpful. Please con consider checking out the links of my sponsors. Please follow me on Twitch and come say hey. Let me know uh, that you're here from the YouTube videos, and please check out my merch so you can get this hat with duty on it. Uh, I will hopefully see you there. Thank you so, so much.